Life in any gutter is difficult. But no matter what the circumstances, whatever the quality, life will still be there trying to function. When it comes to life in the gutter, the insects are the ones that got the game on lock. Why? Because they can use what's around them in order to survive. To the right of me, you got lush natural green forests. To the left of me, you also got lush natural green forests. Whatever's outside of the gutter will influence life inside of the gutter. You got about five different species of trees out here and about 30 different species of plants. Now all those trees and plants are gonna be taking their leaves and twigs and dropping them into this gutter and they're gonna start to decay. And the bugs are gonna be the first ones to take advantage of that. Decaying plant material provides the food for herbivorous insects like these chironomids and these mayflies. And some bugs like this caddis fly larva use bits and pieces of wood and sand to make a protective casing for themselves. And where there's herbivores, you'll surely find predators like this dragonfly and this toe biter, which always stay posted ready to snatch up another bug for a meal. And the gutter up here can support all these bugs because the water is clean. But not all gutters have clean water. Case in point, to my right, you got a nice beautiful green park with beautiful green grass. To my left, you got a not so beautiful parking lot with a bunch of cars. Now, the park and the parking lot bring in a lot of ammoniums and nitrates, oils from cars, and a lot of trash from people. Now you might think to yourself, with water conditions so bad, how can anything live here? But if you look a little bit closer, you'll see that life in the gutter still persists. Here you got a lot of algae, which provides the food source for chironomids and many mayflies. In turn, they provide the food source for predatory damselflies. So even if the water is tainted, you still got insects that thrive in it. But can it get any worse? To my right, you got streets, businesses, and homes. To my left, you got more streets, businesses, and homes. Now if what's outside of the gutter influences what's inside of the gutter, Anything living in here has got to deal with concrete and asphalt. Now with conditions like this, you really think there's life in here? Well, you better believe it. Chironomids, a lot of them. So many in fact that they present a buffet for insect predators like these dragonflies and these beetle larvae. Even though this gutter is trashy, you still got life that can deal with the dirt. So it's apparent that in any gutter, life exists even in something like this. But that's just because the insects that live here have learned to live in conditions tainted by people. Even in conditions as rancid as this, life still exists, as long as it still puts up with other people's